and Miss USA 2014 is... Nevada! More than a week ago, she was crowned Miss USA. And now some are questioning whether Miss Nevada really lives in Nevada. Nia Sanchez used to live in Menifee and competed several times for Miss California. And some argue she never really moved. But as KCAL 9 Inland Empire reporter Tom Waite reports, Sanchez's family is coming to her defense. I think it's just one of those things where no matter who wins, they're going to find some, something about someone that's going to make them feel better about themselves. That's the stepsister of newly crowned Miss USA, Nia Sanchez, on accusations that Sanchez competed in Nevada to dodge tougher competition in California. Her stepmom is also rallying by her side. I'm extremely proud of her. The whole academy is proud of her. The city of Menifee, her high school that she went to, her whole family is extremely proud of her. Family members spoke to us here at the studio where Sanchez, now Miss USA, trained and became a black belt in Taekwondo. I hope that people leave her alone and let her cont uh, continue to enjoy her victory and let her have the time of her life. Nevada! Questions about residency began after Sanchez was crowned. The 24-year-old grew up in California, went to high school here in Menifee, and worked at Disneyland until November of 2013. During her time at Disneyland, her family says she traveled back and forth. Sanchez competed in the California contest three times and lost, then moved to Nevada and won. Sanchez defends the move. I was working a lot in Nevada, and that's why I was like, well, I still love pageants. I need to compete somewhere, so since I'm living here, I should compete here. Sanchez took even more heat after this radio interview yesterday where she couldn't name the capital of Nevada. What's the capital of Nevada? Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> um, oh my gosh. <laughs> no, no, Carson City. Thank you, I was yeah. going to yeah. say that. The Miss Universe organization is standing by Sanchez, saying she had a Nevada driver's license a year before the pageant and has no reason to question her. Her family says this is all nonsense and it's time to focus on the positive. This is a moment she should be living and not worried about little petty things like that. Probably safe to say you won't be seeing Nia here in her Menifee Taekwondo studio. She has a very busy travel schedule ahead. Reporting from Menifee, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL 9 News.